Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Yeshua Belias, your Oxy Lifestyle Coach. Today I want to talk to you about how we need to improve ourselves every day. And that uh, we don't have to be great to start, but we have to start to be great. And uh, every time we start something new, if it is uh, making videos, speaking in public, starting a new business, online business or something, if you're in school trying to learn a new subject or something, we always suck at it at first, completely in, a, in every way. And uh, we have to keep on going, keep on moving further, keep on making mistakes, trying new things, failing over and over again, and continue evolving and improving ourselves. It's a day-to-day -day ritual that we have to do. And uh, like you see now, uh, I'm making a video now, and I'm standing up. And uh, I've always made a video when I'm sitting down. But uh, as I've heard and I know that when we are sitting down and making a video or doing a lecture or something, we can't get the expressions out. We can't get the energy up. We can't express ourselves in a way that is really true because we're holding us back. And uh, I was on YouTube the other day and I saw a lecture from a very cool man don't remember his name right now and uh, he is talking about how we should use our tones more when we are speaking not just when we're making a video or making a public performance but also when we are just talking one-on-one -on -one, even when we are talking to our dog because uh, many people they talk in just one tone hey how are you doing things are going well blah, blah. And we get tired of listening to people like that, like that. And some people, they're really brave. And they use two tones. And uh, that is, they're just speaking seriously and la 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 la. And then there's something exciting. Then they go, yes, and so like that. Then they go back to the other tone. But to use the multiple of tones. And he said that talking is the same thing as singing. And uh, there is a scientific fact that... When people look at us and listen to us, is that it 50% of, of our message comes from our body language, how we use our body, how we move and our, how we articulate our body when we are talking. 38% is the tone of voice we use when you're talking. And only 7% of the message we have is our words. Only 7% of our message are our words. So using our body in the right way is so important if you want to get our message out. And using our voice, the tones, to use a bit of singing when we are talking, that is 38%. And uh, when we are speaking in a monotone way, just one tone, we are not getting the message out in the right way. And it's very easy for people to misunderstand us if you just use one tone or two. We have to use the variety of tones. And like he says, the piano has 82 tones, 82 notes, if I remember correctly. And when we are singing, we should try to use every tone, every 82 tones. And uh, so I've been practicing my singing. I'm a, I've been a very bad singer, but I'm practicing now to become a better singer and learn to use my voice in a different way. And uh, oh, probably the whole neighborhood here is just getting really tired of me <laughs> when I'm singing. But I want to improve. I want to learn more. I want to get better because, in my view, I have a message that I want to get out to people. I think it is very important. And, uh, and I've heard from many people now that I'm in inspiring them and motivating them and everything. So now it's getting serious for me in so many ways. So now I have to get to the next level. And uh, through the years, I've been doing online things for almost five years now. and. Uh, it is, 
I've made so many mistakes, so many failures and so many things. But today I have so much experience from it all. I've been growing myself, uh, learning new things. And now I'm just stepping up to the next level. Now I'm trying this standing up thing. Uh, and uh, we should take time to develop ourselves. To take time to learn new things. To take, take time to evolve ourselves, grow ourselves, our projects, our business, our passion. We, uh, after many years in this society, we've been broken down. We've been said to keep quiet, be like everybody else, try to fit in. And so we become like a bit shy and we afraid to use our voice to speak up and speak for our rights and stand up for our rights. But now we should uh, let it all go. Find our passion and be the passion, live the passion. And just go all the way and sp and one thing of, of that he said, a man about the the voice and the tones, is that we should speak louder. When we talk to one person, we should not just be talking to that, that person and just whisper. We should speak like the room is full of 60,000 people. There are 60,000 people listening to us. And uh, when he's speaking on the phone, he's not just speaking from his lips to the microphone. He keeps the phone like this. And he speaks very loud, because we have to make our voice heard. We have to uh, get our self-esteem up that we are worth to be heard. We are worth that people are listening to us. That we are have 60,000 people listening to us. It is, they are listening to our passion. They are listening to our drive and motivation in life. Each and every one of us has something inspiring to give others. We can everybody, we can all of us can motivate others. And that is the thing. Improve and start and then become great. It is the beauty of life. Well my friends, this is Jesu Belial, your Luxor Lifestyle Coach. If you want to know more about me and what I do, you can go to my website, yes.com. And right now I'm a uh, doing a webinar series about We Are The Creators, the ebook I wrote. And uh, it's a four part series, two parts are finished, but you can see the replay on my website. And you can also find how to register on my website, yes.com. Take care, and I'll see you soon. And go on, improve yourself, and motivate others. Take care.